Everybody wants to talk about all the weirdo shit I want to talk about, you yeah, know. Such as an- Antarctica, which we will be talking about, right? Yeah. You didn't see the guy. The I can't remember. the What's the whistleblower guy? Uh, um, James Gr- You know, the guy that UFO News came out the same week as the Titanic submarine? Yeah, I don't remember his name. So, so. a bunch of people came yeah. out, and there's that doctor with the bad skin, but uh, uh, Stephen Greer. Okay. You ever see him? He's like, uh-uh. I, oh, I still... I, trying to collect because so he he had all these people that are like whistleblower people and uh i've seen him on different podcasts and uh the guy from antarctica is very interesting he worked for raytheon down there right Raytheon, yeah why would raytheon be there it's a weapon company it's uh, peaceful in antarctica but uh he had wild things to say like what uh that they got a direct a direct you know the ice uh neutrino detector yeah uh it's also a direct energy weapon it uh, is, oh, shit. according to him, and it, I mean, it, he said he could do stuff that's really wild. And the way he's telling the story is, uh, you gotta watch it because I, I watch all these people. Yeah, they're making it up. I want to hear just right. something I haven't heard before. Right. And uh, the guy, uh, and there's some people I've seen. There's a guy like Randy Kramer. He's called, and he's a big secret space program. And he looks like such a liar. Every <laughs> way, the way he answers every question, he just is like. It's just so, it looks like a guy I would know from comedy, you know? And uh, this guy doesn't sound like that. He could, to me, I'm, I'm curious what you think when you see him talk. Okay. He looks like a guy who was like fed up at his job and really wants to spill the, like the guy who told, talks all this shit about P. Diddy now, his old bodyguard. It was yeah. like that kind of, Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> like that. But some people don't see that, but I, I thought it jumped out at me when I watched him tell this story. What other stuff did he say? I'll just sum it up. There's a clown beam that comes from Antarctica. <laughs> a what? A, a clown beam. A clown beam? Uh, yeah, he said it could do... I've heard this from other stuff, and actually, you maybe saw that WF presentation about the headphones. Yeah, that they can hack our brains? Is that what you're talking they about? They hack... So, yeah, yeah. The, well, your boss... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made it short, and you you wear these earbuds, and it yeah. monitors your brain waves. Did I you never see heard that? this, No. I just read about it today. Should I look it you, up? Yeah. What, can you watch it? that? I, so, well, okay. So this is a WEF. <laughs> <laughs> you really do, though. You have to put the this is a WEF, like, TED Talk kind of thing. Uh-huh. And it's an Iranian lady that, I can't remember her name, but I looked her up after because I was like, what did I just watch? She goes, this is uh, the world we're going to be having soon and this and that. This wormy guy brings her up. She's going to introduce something and, and then he sits down and then they play this cartoon that is insane, Okay. When it's done, she comes out. So you guys ready for the future? And all the people go, no. Uh, and she goes, well, it's here. So you got to, we, we got to have a talk. You know, there's, we yeah. got to talk about it because it's here. The age of owning all your data and watching all the time is here. You know, we can have a conversation, but it's here. <laughs> That's the thing. So watch what it's. So. All right. What, what, okay. what am I looking for? You got to tell me. To, um, or just, can you text it to me? Uh, brain, W-E-F. W-E-F. That's Klaus Schwab. Yeah, brainwave. It's all the great oligarchs, the real Davos men. Um, brainwave earbuds. Your memo is finished. Your inbox is under control. I, yeah. And you're feeling sharper than you have in a decade. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure, your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up. Oh, my God. Telling you to take a brain break. <laughs> holy Jesus. Oh, this holy is terrifying. God, your brain activity when you're asleep. It started earlier in the month. You send a text message to your doctor with a mental swipe of your cursor. Could you take a quick look at my brain data? <laughs> oh, my God. Your mind starts to wander to the uh-huh. new colleague on your team whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity 
and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain methods from the past. <laughs> oh my God. Holy which have earned Jesus. you another performance bonus. My parents never did that for me growing you up. <laughs> jamming is that it or is that With your work issued brain sending no, earbuds still we're, in. We're, we're, a minute or so. When you arrive at work the next day, a somber <laughs> cloud feds. has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past <clears> year. They have compelling evidence that one of your co-workers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your co-worker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. The end. That is wait, wait, the play, thing. but let just watch our say. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Look at him you giggling in the back. Ready for? Oh my god. You may be surprised to learn that it's a future that has already arrived. Everything in that video that you just saw is based on technology that is already here today. Artificial intelligence has enabled okay, wait, advances so pause it. So, in decoding. Now, so when I, when I first watched this... Oh, my God. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Okay, this, you ever see that movie Watchmen where the bad guy he goes, I did my plan like two hours ago? Yeah. So when I looked down at it, it was like six months before. <laughs> like it had been out for six months, about 700 views. So that like that's about a year and a half ago. Yeah, let me see what it says. Now, here's what's interesting about that. The Antarctica guy, that I'm talking about the Raytheon whistleblower, he's, he brought this up in his interview... I'll find the video and send it to you, but he brought up in an interview. He goes, remember those articles that came out about how McDonald's is going to beam commercials into your dreams? Uh-huh. And I was like, I do kind of remember that. And I went and looked it back up, and I remember that story came out, and I was like, oh, what a silly, it must be a wacky science news day or something. No, he goes, so his point is, if McDonald's is talking about that technology, you think they don't already have that right. for quite a long time? Like, oh, yeah, of course. Like, of know. course. The fucking military has it. Now, there's another one. Um, order pizza with your mind. Uh, 60 uh-oh, minutes. You shouldn't have told me Yeah, that. now she's into it. <laughs> well, yeah, baby. Because <laughs> when that, that lady, the Persian chick talking about that, I went out because I couldn't tell from this when I watch it if she was for or against this. I was going to ask you the same thing. Yeah, Which well, one? she looks like it. I found videos where she sounds against it. She looks like she has no soul whatsoever like you know she could run over a kid and be okay with it on her way to start well, you know what we could check her brain data and find out very easily <laughs> most people have no idea where we're at do they no this is well, how scary. could you how could you possibly know unless you like there's something wrong with you <laughs> like why you should never even try to look <laughs> yeah really here's the thing i always like have my doubts about like any kind of like secret reptile thing because <laughs> I'm believing the reptile brain, how people say, and also it's not a real thing. And you don't have a reptile brain. That's like a thing a guy said in the sixties. Right. Yeah. I think metaphorically and it just, they ran with it. Right. So w- reptiles are not like torturers and they're, they're yeah, it's human. That's primate. You know, chimpanzees do kind of wild stuff like that. Yeah. That just sounds real human to me. Yeah. That kind of behavior. Human. Yeah, it is. But metaphorically. Other it, animals aren't sadistic for sexual pleasure for, you know, I don't think. Yeah, I've, oh, well. Not true. I saw a gorilla rape that frog, remember, and throw it. But is that sadistic if he's doing it like you're, look, like the way. Well, not with the whole machinery of the not, government behind him. He's not him. trying to hurt that frog. He just doesn't care. Yeah. It's, like sadistic is like, no, the true. frog has to be. That's a good point. Uh, right you know. exactly like when i you ever go how do we to, end yeah. up with these people on the top of things do you think that they're like cloned or come down there what about antarctica some people say that it's like oh, nazis yeah. that are cloning evil uh <laughs> yeah, right. like soldiers and shit uh, with i'll no bet souls. it's uh it's like wood alcohol right like you've got a poison rubbing alcohol so people won't drink it for whatever like yeah what there's some truth of a bunch of it because nazis are popping up but they definitely put in a lot of extra crap to make sure you don't you don't hit on it. And if somebody accidentally does hit on it, they got other ways to deal with that. You know? No, I don't like know. Like Gary Webb. Mean. Remember Gary Webb, the guy that you can take that out if you want, you guys. Oh right, oh. that guy who's who basically exposed the CIA was 
was yeah. indeed bringing crack into the yeah. oh yeah, yeah into the hood. They killed. Yeah, yeah. And then he killed himself with two gunshots to the head. The Clinton suicide. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was watching some, but a quote he say goes, "I realized because he'd worked in the press for a long time." He goes. He goes, oh, I must have never reported on anything important before. <laughs> That's what he realized with the amount of shit that came down because oh. he told the truth about that one thing. Wow. So you see.